Hello and welcome to my final vlog for CUP542, my brand online. In this final vlog, I'll be concluding what I have learned with my interview in my second vlog with you and Gorman. I shall also reflect on the previous goals that I had made in my first vlog and discuss the skills that I will still need to improve on for my future plans and goals. During my interview with Ewan, we went through his early careers, as well as his later careers and the current film project that he has been working on. During this interview, Ewan made a lot of very good points on how to conduct myself and how to move forward with my career. We discussed how when creating a short movie or trying to get your story noticed, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, as well as highlighting the importance of marketing and networking. Ewan also made a few points on how being a generalist is extremely useful for a creative media person such as myself, stating how useful it is for someone like me to have audio skills as well as camera working skills as well as editing skills even if I am just wanting to be a writer. Having a wide range of skills can help you in the long run when you're choosing your career. The more skills and experiences that you have under your belt, the better work that you can produce in the future and that having a good network of people is a great way for your work to be shared, as well as giving you loads of different opportunities to collab with other creators. As a brief overview, I have learned that moving forward is extremely important for me to not only have a good network, but to also have a wide range of short-term goals that will then lead up to my long-term goals. For the last year, I've been enhancing myself on many different skills, such as animation, audio skills, videography, and editing. However, there is still a wider range of skills that I need to learn if I want to get my end goal. So after hearing the advice from Ewan, what are my new goals and set plans in order to get the job that I want to achieve after I finish university? The key and main goal that I want to try and achieve within the next year or two is to produce a short movie that I can hand into a film festival. If I'm able to successfully make a compelling story that does well during the film festival, then it would be a great way for me to get my name out there and to get some notoriety for my work. It is also a great way for me to build up a network with other creatives in the film industry. And another short term goal that I've set for myself is to start constructing my own little novel or short story book. This will help me enhance my writing skills and creative techniques when writing my stories as well as give me experience on how I plan to publish stories or how I plan to sell my work. And my third and final goal moving forward is to try and get more notoriety on social media platforms. My current aim within the next year is to try and achieve 50 subscribers on a YouTube channel, as well as trying to achieve 100 followers on my Instagram page. And although these aren't groundbreaking goals, they are good goals to have. By making short-term goals, you are taking small steps into learning and improving upon the skills that you already have. In conclusion, I plan to start more small creative projects in order to enhance my skills and to get my name more noticed, and to hopefully submit a short movie into a film festival. I will be taking Ewan's advice on board moving forward, and I aim to achieve more work experience by going through Solent Creatives as well as starting my own mini projects and helping other students with their projects. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to give support, please consider subscribing or following us on Instagram and checking out my WordPress website. Thank you again and I'll see you later.